Hey y'all, it's Christy with Christy's Custom Creations. And I was recently asked if I would be interested in trying out a new hat press. So I said, absolutely. I don't have a hat press yet. And I would, I really was excited about giving it a shot. They also sent me a heat press to try. So, and I can't stand my heat press that I have now. So I'm gonna be doing that one and unboxing of the heat press in another video. Um, this video right here is for the hat press. And I ordered a couple of, uh, sublimation hats on Amazon to try out with it. So I'll have everything linked in the description box below. You can actually get this hat press on Amazon. It's by Viver DIY Products. So let's go ahead and unbox it. I'm pretty excited to see. It's been in my living room for like two weeks now um, for me to just find a time when I didn't have my little one here and I had makeup on and I didn't look like a hot mess so I could <laughs> record the unboxing for y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down here and let's get to unboxing. So it looks like we've got a user manual here and this is what it looks like it says golf cap hat heat press machine and it's a user user manual it looks like it's pretty sturdy it's like its own standalone machine so the ones i've seen before have been like um they connect to your heat press and i don't know i just wasn't like a big fan of those so, y'all are going to get to watch me struggle. There we go. Okay. Wow, this thing is big. I like it. I'm pretty impressed. I don't know if you can see it in the video. I'm on this, like, little wobbly table because I was trying to set up somewhere so y'all could see pretty good. All right. I'm pretty impressed, y'all. And it's not, like, it's heavy, but it's not terribly heavy. So, I'm going to set this box on the ground, and I'm going to pick it up and set it on this table so that um, so that y'all can see it. All right, there we go. So let's unwrap this bad boy, y'all. This is this thing is nice. It's stout. All right, okay. The bag opens on the bottom, but it's kind of like sitting on it. So it, we're just gonna cut this bag here. Be careful when you use a razor blade, don't cut yourself. Okay. This is really sturdy. I like it. plug here so I guess we're gonna learn together oh that's awesome I don't, I'm not real sure what this does I'm gonna have to read the instructions um, but that's pretty impressive very cool all right let me take a look at the instructions and um, I also don't have a sublimation image, a sub image printed for the hats that I got yet. Um, so let me figure out what we're gonna put on a hat and we'll go from there. So um, I do want to mention, these are the hats. I just took them out of the package. I haven't even looked at them yet, but I just took them out of the shipping package and it's three hats. They, they were on Amazon as trucker hats and this white front part is um, able to be sublimated. So I got a three pack. I got black, gray, and then a camo. So we'll give those a try. And I think looking at it, I believe I'm down here on my knees for y'all. Um, that anyways, uh, it looks like it's just going to sit right here and then we will press it from there. That's how it looks. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty impressed. 
Yeah, definitely gonna have to sit this way. I'm not sure what this thingy my bobber back here is for yet. That's gonna be for reading the instructions. We'll figure out what that is here shortly. But yeah, it's just gonna sit right here and you just press it down. Let it do its thing. It's got a timer and a temp over here. We'll turn it on and all that good stuff. So, all right, let me figure out what uh, sublimation I, um, design I want to put on it and print it out and I'll get back with y'all. Okay, I am back. And I found this super cute little image on Etsy. It says, hey pumpkin. I'm in reverse right now, um, like selfie mode so I can see myself while I'm recording. So it shows y'all regular, but whenever I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, um, you have to mirror your image whenever you do sublimation. So it is a mirrored image, but because like you can see my shirt says mama tried, it's probably backwards. Um, but make sure you mirror your image and I'm going to go ahead and move you down so you can see the hat press right here. So cool thing is I figured out what this little red knob thing is for. The red knob here is a hat stretcher. So what you do is you pull this little red knob down and you're going to slide the hat so that it stretches the back out and it pulls it nice and tight on your little thingy my bobber here. So it pulls it nice and tight. So it's your hat's not going anywhere. I mean, it's wiggling my whole table. The hat's the hat is there. So you get your hat in place. It's, you got the hat stretcher down here that's pulling it, and you can just do that, and it'll release it. I like that. That's pretty impressive, actually. Um, and then you adjust your tightness with your little knob right here, and then you press it. So I was looking online. I've never pressed a hat before. So it looks like I'm going to press it for probably... I'm going to turn and set my temperature to 385, and then we're gonna press for about 40 seconds. So we need to let this heat up. I'm gonna make sure my hat is in the exact right position it needs to be. I've got some heat tape right over here. And I also have some butcher paper so that we don't have any bleeding. You always want to make sure you put down butcher paper because the sublimation, it's ink that you're basically like infusing into a material. And believe it or not, you can actually infuse it into your pad here and you can infuse it into this plate right here. So I always put down butcher paper. I'll put down butcher paper inside the hat and then I'll also put it over this image after I tape this image to the hat. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. It's got a little sticker here on the thing. It says qualified. So apparently they have made sure it works and let's set the temperature. We're gonna go with about 385. Like I said, I actually I feel better going with about 375, honestly. So we're gonna set it to 375. Let's do 380. We'll meet in the middle. So we'll go ahead and get it warm, warming up to 380. I can already feel it starting to warm up, so seems like it's gonna probably be pretty quick. And I set it for 380 and let it warm it up. While that's warming, I guess I can go ahead and tape this thing on. So I'm going to line, well, I guess I could stay down here with y'all. <sighs> I'm going to line the inside here with my paper. Let me set that there. Because like I said, you just really want to protect your little pad. You want to protect everything just so that that ink doesn't come through and infuse into anything else. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to line the inside of the hat right here with the paper. Make it a little bit shorter. And I'm just going to stick it. You know on how hats have like a little lip right there? I'm going to stick it right inside that little lip right there and then we want to make sure our image is lined up nicely as well so I guess I can do it right here so this little tape 
dispenser I got on Amazon. I say little tape dispenser. It's huge. Um, I got it on Amazon and it is the bomb because you can fit multiple different size tapes on there and it cuts the tape for you so make sure Ooh, i almost did that upside down y'all so make sure your image is not upside down and that you have it the right way come on give me the hat and just try to line it up the best that you can it's kind of like a little bit of a it's not an image that really necessarily has to be perfectly straight. You just don't want it sitting like sideways on your hat. So if you're super OCD about it, then get a tape measure out and measure it. But for tutorial purposes, we're going to eyeball it because we are just trying out this. Well, that didn't stick. We're just trying out this press. So might have to put down some more tape. I will say like I'm pretty impressed by the quality so far and it's we're already at 250 degrees it seems to be heating up pretty quick oh yeah it's got some heat going for sure so all right I've got the image lined up right there you know what I should have done we're gonna pull this image off because I almost forgot you are supposed to press your item for about five seconds beforehand uh, just to get out any moisture that may be in there so I'm gonna stay down here. Go ahead and pull our hat stretcher up. Get our hat into place. Feels pretty good and secure. I feel like it's on there fairly even. I just don't want to press it sideways. Okay, that feels good to me. I'm gonna cut another strip as a protector. For the front, actually, I don't know if I could just put this whole thing on there. Yeah, I think I can put this whole thing on there like that, and let's go ahead and press it down like so. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, and the timer here. Okay, so the timer activates. Okay, I like that timer activates I actually need to set our time because I said I was gonna press it for about 40 seconds oops so we're gonna set it to 40 and then there so whenever we press it next time I am going to loosen up my pressure just a little bit So now it starts counting down from 40. So that is perfect. I like it. We have heated that up. It's still, we are almost to, that, that thing heats up super fast. Um, <laughs> my heat press that I currently am using is super, super slow. So I'm gonna leave this hat sitting where it's at. Um, I'm gonna leave the hat sitting where it's at. And I'm going to square up on the hat so I can see it really well. So I decided to turn y'all so that I could square up on this because I wanted to make sure that my image was on there really good and everything. So I can see exactly where it pressed. By pressing it, I can see the line like where it's going to press up. So I'm really glad we did that. All right. I am happy with that positioning right there. We are preheated. Okay, so we're now preheated to the 380 degrees. Like I said, I don't know if that's the right temperature or not. We're, we're about to find out if it's the right temperature, but I just, I can't remember what I last pressed a shirt at, and so we're gonna just roll with it and see. We're gonna press at 380 for 40 seconds. So this little knob right here, you can adjust the pressure if you need to go up or down in pressure. And then we're gonna press it. Oops, if I don't drag the whole thing towards me. All right, let's see. It's the moment of truth. So um, I while this is counting down, I did wanna mention, so this is available on 
Amazon. It's by Vivor, V-E-V-O-R. Um, it's just a hat press. I have a heat press, a shirt press that I'm going to be um, working on next and trying out. So we'll see how it works. We've got like 13 seconds left. I'm very, it's, it's like, it's, really? It's like, it's very sturdy. So I'm really impressed with it. Okay, our time's up. Moment of truth. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> Let's see how I did, y'all. Well, it's hot. Okay, so that's really cute. So it turned out really good, but I don't think I pressed it long enough. So I have a wrinkle right here. It's like, okay, I wrinkled the paper underneath, as you can see. So maybe we could probably do it without. All right, so because I put this underneath this and I tucked it into here, it wrinkled the paper underneath, causing a wrinkle right here. So that is my fault. And I honestly feel like I, sh I should have increased the pressure on this a little bit. And other than that, it turned out really good. Other than my little boo-boo right here from the wrinkles, I like it. I like it a lot. Like, how cute is that? So it says, it says hey, pumpkin, and it might look backwards on here because I'm in selfie mode, but um, I really like that, y'all. What I would probably do next time, instead of putting the paper inside the hat, I would probably put it directly on the pad and then put the hat down. So, for example... I would probably lay the protective butcher paper on this and then put the hat down in order to prevent wrinkling from happening from the hat. And I feel like that would probably help a lot. Um, like I said, it's not bad. There's just a little bitty streak right here and right here. And it's the exact same spot that I had the wrinkle in the butcher paper. So also I would probably increase, and you can just do that by twisting this right here. I would increase the pressure so that whenever you push down, it gives it more pressure. Um, so next time, trying it all over again, that is how I would do it. But overall, y'all, I'm super impressed. I like this. And I've got, uh, I have two more hats that I'm going to press. So I've got these two. I know my sister wants a hat. So I'll let her pick which one she wants and pick a design and I'll... I'll press it on it for her, but um, if, yeah, if y'all want to check this out, it's on Amazon. I'll link it down in the description box below. And then also the tape dispenser that I used, this Big Mama right here, it holds all different kind of tape and you can even like twist it and it cuts the tape for you. So you just pull it off, it's cut and it's ready to go. Um, I got that on Amazon as well and I will link that down in the description box too. So. It's time for me to go unbox the uh, heat press and see how we like that one. So y'all stay tuned for that video. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful or just wanted to kill some time by watching something, um, do me a favor. Please be sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe because it really does help out my channel. And as always, I hope y'all take care. Bye.